Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living where I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. And in today's video, I am going to share with you guys my rich, rich life. Rich life. <laughs> I'm so extra. Let me put this thing up. I'm actually like ready for work. So let me put the coat up. Hold on. Maybe I should leave the sunglasses though, right? No, I'm not doing an entire video of sunglasses. All right, guys, so let's be serious here. Today, I want to answer a question that I received. I put in Ask Me Anything, and I feel like either I tell you guys everything already or, or um, you guys are shy, but I only had two questions. One was, who's the favorite child? Oh, you know who sent that question, right? And then two was, I'll put the question up here. Basically, it said, do you ever splurge because it like basically the individual wanted to know if i ever splurge because it seems that i'm always on a budget okay so i want to talk about that today first of all to answer the question yes do i ever splurge yes it seems like i'm always on a budget yes <laughs> but let me talk to you and tell you how i make that happen so for starters, this will probably be a pretty lengthy video because I actually pre-recorded some of this on last week on Thursday and I'll be sure to insert those clips as we go along. So yeah, I just want you guys to kind of know that ahead of time so that in case you need to come back to this video, that's fine with me. I get it. I also have notes with me because I didn't want to miss anything. So part of the reason that I wanted to address this question is because I thought it was a very interesting one, especially for where I currently am. So most of you guys know, I paid off $170,000 worth of debt. Long story, there's videos on the channel if you wanna go back and watch those. Um, actually, I'll link it here. Alicia, like, before the debt-free journey, or, oh my gosh, listen, before your girl started learning about being debt-free, I would just swipe that card, swipe, swipe, whatever I wanted, whatever I wanted, I would just swipe that card and pay for it later. I was. And then there's Felicia now. So I thought this was a very interesting question and I wanted to dedicate a full video to it because I think that sometimes when people hear the word budget, they tend to think restrictive. But for me, my budget is like my spending planning. It gives me the freedom to actually spend. So I think sometimes like maybe if you wanted to use a spending plan instead of the word budget or like just the plan for your money, I think that would probably make people feel better. But yeah, so to me, a budget is not restrictive. It just shows me which categories I have available as to where I can spend. With that being said, the first thing that I like to say is that I budget for categories that are important to me. And these categories include things like vacations and experiences. Um, they include things like self-care. For those of you that follow me over on Instagram, then you know that I budget $100 every two weeks. And that may not sound like a lot of money, but that's actually $2,600 every year. And that gives me the ability to do things like get my hair done, um, which I go get my hair done like every, around every eight weeks. So that's about $700 a year. And it allows me to do things like get monthly massages, which is about another $700 a year. Because I don't tend to do an hour long session, I usually only do 30 minutes. So it's a little bit more affordable when you do 30 minutes versus 60. And it also allows me to do things like get facials. Last year I got two. This year I would like to schedule in a little bit more um, than two. One per quarter would be ideal. With just those numbers alone, we're, we're still left with like $1,200 a year. Um, that also allows me to do pedicures. Now that I'm on this journey and I do weekly weigh-ins, you guys have been so nice to me, but I'm realizing that maybe I should get pedicure, pedicures a little bit more frequently. Um, so I gotta figure that whole thing out. Um, also, as far as like manicures go, I don't get my nails done because of my profession. I'm a physical therapist. And I mean, like just imagine, can you imagine a physical therapist doing manual work on you or doing like a massage or something with the full set? Like, <laughs> no, I can't imagine either. Not only just for you, but it sounds painful for me as a clinician. So I don't get my nails done. This budget, it also allows me to do things for myself, such as if I needed to buy new, um, like, facial products or makeup i don't wear a lot of makeup so that fits into that budget um 
And to be quite transparent, sometimes if there's something I need to pick up from the drugstore, like as far as like a facial cleanser or something like that, if it fits within the food budget, I'll just get it from there. So yeah, this kind of makes me think about also the fact that I tend to be very intentional in the way that I spend my money and I tend to spend money on the things that bring me like happiness or joy, things that I truly, truly value. So yeah, let's talk about vacations and experiences because your girl will drop some money on a vacation or, or an experience in a heartbeat. However, we have a budget for that. We budget all year long, every month for towards vacation and experiences um, because whenever we're on vacation. So, okay, so let me, let me go back to the question, do I splurge? So for instance, if we have a budget for the vacation, right? Like, let's say the budget is $4,000. Within that budget, I choose what I want to do and I feel like I'm splurging because once the budget is set, it's like permission to, okay, you can spend this, you can spend this, you can spend this. I hope this makes sense a little bit. Like the budget gives me permission to spend. So I feel very rich within that budget. For instance, like I said, um, oh, actually I'll link the video here, like where my husband and I went to Vegas last year, Vegas and Sedona. So because we had a budget, I still feel that we had the opportunity to do everything that we wanted to do. So I didn't feel like we were missing out on anything. I hope that makes sense a little bit. Also, when it comes to like big purchases like cars. So for me, when I got my most recent car, there were only three things that I absolutely had to have. And that included a sunroof, um, a backup camera, and heated seats. If you follow me on IG, you know I cannot stand to be cold. <laughs> I cannot so yeah and to me because I drive over 600 miles every two weeks for just for work work alone not even including my personal life but just for work to me almost any car could serve that purpose oh I'm sorry and it had to be an SUV because I carry a lot of equipment so I'll answer the clip here of my car so I found a car that was within my budget and I got panoramic sunroof and I have my bougie nine dollar sunglasses and backup camera and my heated seats <laughs> now I will say one thing that I should have splurged on that I didn't with this car is I should have I should have gotten leather seats because in all of my other cars I had leather seats and I never realized how important leather seats were particularly when you have kids and a dog so I have to go around with that thing on my seat and I carry so much equipment so much equipment in and out of the car all the time so that's something that I should have spent a little bit more money on but I didn't but anyway so I ended up with the Hyundai you know Hyundai's aren't as expensive like a Lexus or Mercedes or any of those things and I absolutely love it and for me it's all about the environment too so specifically because I work from my car um, I just like to be in an environment that I feel good in and I love for my environments to feel like vacation so sometimes I go into homes that like don't necessarily smell the best and I'm very sensitive like my sense of smell is so I can tell people what kind of gum they're chewing It's bad um, so I have like so I have like little spray things like this and then because I'm wearing a mask all day I have so I spend money it's just on like stuff that don't cost like a whole lot of money so all kinds of chapsticks um, I have different chapsticks like if I'm having one of those days where I feel like I just need a vacation like I have chapsticks that smell like coconut or pineapple like I, for me it's about the environment and the experience and I think that is where I definitely split spend and splurge money but I'll show you some more examples once I get inside yeah so when it comes to cars as far as splurging I will splurge the extra money to make sure that I have the things that I want like for instance next time when I go to buy a car if it costs an extra I don't know 1200 2000 3000 I don't even know how much they cost but whatever it costs to get leather seats I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna splurge and get leather seats because now I know that that's also important to me so now let's talk about things like houseware, home goods, furniture, things like that within the home because those tend to be an area where a lot of women splurge. 
for me personally i like things to be very sleek clean minimum i don't like to be overwhelmed with making a lot of decisions of where to put this um when it comes to cleaning i don't like a lot of things to have to clean so but yes i did splurge last year we, we moved into our home in 2018 and i waited until we were able to afford the type of furniture that we wanted and until i was able to do a few of the things that i wanted so one of the things that i did if you guys have watched any of my old videos you probably noticed that my walls are now painted white and also we have new furniture so i'll insert a clip here where i talked about that a little bit but I budget for the things that I want. Like, um, for instance, even with our furniture, we waited about three years until we got furniture for this house. The furniture that we had was like 12 or 15 years old, but I wanted to wait until I got like exactly what I wanted because I knew it was something that I would keep for a long time and hopefully not have to replace. Um, and initially I didn't really know what I wanted. so. That's another thing too, like when I'm not sure of what I want, I don't buy stuff like just because like to fill in with the front. <laughs> also a part of our house, like I didn't really know right away what type of theme that I wanted. But when we first moved here, one of the first things my husband did was bring ducks home and well had ducks mailed to our house. Like ducks, me, really. <laughs> but you know what like they it took me a minute because they had to live inside did you know that ducks i'm sure some of you guys know ducks can't maintain their internal body temperature on their own when they're young so they had to live inside of our house and ducks poop a lot did you guys know that they poop a lot so i thought it was like gross and disgusting and you know so we got ducks right and i wasn't like extremely happy about that at first but i kind of started embracing it and I was just like, you know, Lord, like, just give me peace about these freaking dogs being at my house. Um, so what ended up happening was I kind of went with a farmhouse theme and now I love it. Like we went with a coastal farmhouse theme. So I waited until I was able to afford to have the walls painted and we still haven't had like, like our bedroom isn't done yet. Like we haven't changed that yet because got to save up for it actually it's not even on the list to save for it it'll just get done when it gets done and like my office to get done later um but i'll show you guys kind of like the theme we went with a little bit not we me <laughs> so like up here like all the cabinets and everything were painted but the see those eggs like they were kind of inspired by the ducks and it was kind of my way of accepting and you know coming into it just embracing the whole whole farmhouse theme and then I would have loved to have replaced um, our appliances, but we don't have that in the budget yet. So we still have the old appliances. This we actually had to replace from our emergency account because the refrigerator went out one time and it was filled with food. So you just have to, you have to replace that. Um, and yeah, so this is really old too. It was from the original build of the house and then I've got work stuff on the table, but if some of you guys seen my previous videos, you will remember that there was a green table here. And yeah, so it was here for the first three years that we lived here. And once we were able to replace it, I actually got what I wanted. So we did this and changed that area, changed the, um, actually put curtains up there. So that was a splurge. And then here in the living room, this was the first rug that I bought because we had different um, furniture. So I wanted to find furniture that still matched this rug because it was like a hundred and something dollars, maybe $200. And I didn't want to replace the rug. So that's kind of how we built the coastal farmhouse theme around it. So those are new. This is new. <clears throat> These tables are new. And those, and those were total splurges. And this cabinet is new. That was a splurge. Um, I'm seeing splurge, but again, that was in the budget. This television is 12 years old, not replacing that until it completely dies. This is new. That Simply Blessed was a gift, and I wanted to like put it, make it like a focal point. So, yeah, so as long as my home has like a peaceful environment, I'm actually good with that. Now, let's talk about on the day to day. So, on the day to day basis, your girl splurges on lip gloss stationery um pins also to go with stationery highlighters um, and 
then also I have a stationary addiction. So this is another place where I splurge and spend money. I, even though I haven't spent money in this area recently, like I have all the stickers and like I'm ever gonna use this many pens and highlight. Actually I do. That's the embarrassing part is that I, I do use all of this stuff. Like I'll just roll it out whenever I'm doing my planning and like all the things, stationery, planners, all of it. This cart is from Michaels. These bins are from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, when they used to be a dollar. I'm also a really big tipper. Um, is that a proper term, tipper? I don't know. But if we ever go out to eat, like, we tip very well very well. which again is another reason that we don't go out to eat often because I feel that if you can't tip well don't show up like do not go to people's restaurants and leave some jaggedy tip like don't do that that's rude <laughs> also I'm one of those people that enjoys doing random acts of giving I'm the person where I don't know like sometimes I see like a lot of stuff like on Facebook like I'm the person that pays people like bills um, buy school clothes buy school supplies um, donates to different charities events like I'm the person that does that on Facebook without people like asking but if I see that one of my friends are in need I like to just I like to do it like I like I don't this is probably gonna sound bad but I don't like for people to ask me for things I rather just do it because for me it allows me to do it as it's available in my budget versus sometimes when people just come to me then it may not be in the budget at the time but yeah anyways I don't that's okay so that's why I spend a lot of money too is giving to other people now let's talk about services I also splurge when it comes to therapy because I think that's important um, I don't work with my therapist like all the time. Actually, it's been a while since I've worked with my therapist, but when needed, trust me, I'm going. Um, or for anyone else in our family, therapy is important. Um, when it comes to like coaching, um, I have a business coach on retainer. Housekeeping, I splurge in that area because I finally had to realize that my time was worth more like housekeeper can come and clean our house in two and a half hours for me it's an all-day thing like it literally takes me all day to clean because i get so distracted so that's been an investment that's been worth it and it's er definitely an area where i splurge now the bonus part do you guys want to know what some of my future splurges will be <laughs> do you know what i'm really looking forward to spending money on okay the first one is new scrubs for my birthday. I, let me put a clip in here. For my birthday, I wanna buy new scrubs because most of my scrubs are like, see that? They're getting to be too big. So for my birthday, which is in April, I wanna buy myself a complete set of new scrubs, which means I will be donating all of my older scrubs. My second splurge that I'm wanting to do, and I don't know if it will be this year or next year, but I want my first LV bag. Yeah, so the first one that I wanted was the Neverfull. I wanted that bag so badly. But now there's this, oh my gosh, what is the name of it? I'm actually gonna look it up because you never know what's in the universe and they could be watching this video and they might be like, hey girl, send us your PO box. We'll send you the LV bag, so. It's actually a tote and I could just completely see myself using it for work. Can you guys see that? It is the Lock Me Shopper. Like that is just such a cute bag. And when it comes to work bags, I'll actually share with you guys because I recorded that footage too of how I truly feel about work bags. As long as they're functional, I'm usually okay with that. But this bag will be functional and designer. So eventually I'll get there. And the third thing that I want to do is to, so you guys saw like the main areas of our house have been painted. Um, 
well the master bedroom and my office they still have not been painted yet because those have not been in the budget and honestly they're not even in the budget right now for 2022 but i'm thinking that if we sell our rv i may be able to get my um get the master bedroom and the office like painted and designed the way that i want it and organized the way that i want it so and we also need to get a king size bed my husband's been talking about it and i haven't put it on the list so this video actually just made me think about i need to splurge on the king size bed for that man because i don't even know why he wants the king size bed because i'm still going to be right under him but he wants the king size bed we're going to get it okay i had to write that down so i didn't forget um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, I would love to hear what are some things that you splurge on? Where do you spend your money? Are you intentional with your money how I am now? Or are you how I was before when I would just swipe that credit card, didn't think twice about it? Um, yeah, I would love to hear. So if you like videos like this, hey, you guys, I need you to engage with me a little bit more. I'm trying to grow the channel and apparently there's a lot of things that YouTube looks at. YouTube likes it when you have likes on your videos and they also like it when you have comments so if you can like share and subscribe that will help me out so much and even if you like take the video and like text it to your friend that helps out too i don't i don't understand it all i'm new to this world but i'm trying to grow so thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye